Greetings, it's a bit of an add-on from earlier. I managed to get the bolt out. Uh, yeah, I managed to get the bolt out eventually by drilling. So this now comes off quite easily. Lovely, a lot more easily than I would have thought. So there's that, there's the blades. Uh, one blade had to come off just to do it, so I thought, well, it'd be a good time to inspect this and give it a good clean up. But that is, that is super solid. You can see the four holes of the like axle bearing thing. And then, like I said, I welded some 10 mil plate on, so as you can imagine, it's quite heavy. That hole is now mullered. So basically we'll need to uh, cut that off with the grinder and then weld another bolt on the so uh, nut on the side. And then I'll have to use maybe titanium bolts for the future. I don't need many. Two for that and two for the new one. Uh, interesting to note how well a lot of the paint actually held up, especially on this gear, gear wheel, which I'm painting black. Compare it to this one. Uh, I'm just going to spin it around a second so I can show you the rusty link. There. What happened, I ordered uh, what was supposed to be a pack of two off eBay and the guy sent me just one link without any of the connector pieces so they're going to send out two more. Uh, with regards to this, I, I may end up uh, after it gets put back together because uh, this one will be coming off soon. But I'm waffling a bit. We'll cross that bridge and come to it. So you can see, I'm pretty sure it's that hole. Which takes one bolt. And that one which takes another show you again how slack the chain is and what I mean about the drive side when it's turning this when it's rotating hang on. yeah when it's rotating clockwise like it is on the turbine that the bottom half tightens up see there and the bottom half gets even looser but it it works well and all the clunking noise isn't coming from the motor it's coming from the chain you can see how little clearance it, there is she's a beast It'll almost be a shame to say goodbye. But yeah, the plan is, I don't know if this will be going back up or if I'll just leave it down and put the other one up. I don't really know, obviously I can't do it on my own. Uh, one thing that I haven't explained with regards to the new one, in theory it'll be a bit shorter because we've got the top, what is the top of the tower here and then we've got this extra bit, the Chinese turbine. So the turbine will sit lower down, which I think will be better for wob not wobbling purposes. Uh, we'll be able to do away with all this lot because we've got the two monster bearings. I think that's about it. The blades uh, look in reasonable condition. Uh, nothing wrong with these ones. Uh, this obviously rusty as hell and needs sorting out. New bolts perhaps. And uh, yeah, that, that will need sorting out there. The one on the other side is fine. Oh, there's the bolt. Look. There's the leftover of the bolt. Look at that. That's, that's the end I drilled into. And you can just see a, a ridiculously tiny rem remnant of the thread on the bottom. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That wasn't as bad as it could have been because most of it had snapped off. Waffling away again. The idea is, if this does go back up, front look, if this does go back up, then I'll put the lightweight set of blades on and the other blade hub, which I'll just go show you now. Yeah, if that one goes back up, it'll have this blade hub on it. And those blades there. Yeah, that's it for now, my friends. Get those garden tables strapped down. I'll see you soon. Sweet.